plants are a part of the most disciplined, dedicated social system on Earth. Until that is, they become slaves to behavior-controlling parasites. Suddenly, these rogue ants no longer serve the colony. They're taking their orders from the parasite. Okay, let's back up. Now, how did this happen? It all begins when the ants in any town USA consume the slime of a passing snail. They divide it up and take it back to the colony. This is a blunder of epic proportions. Turns out, the slime is loaded with eggs of a body snatcher called the liver fluke, a type of flatworm. The liver fluke burrows into a part of the ant's brain, and for unknown reasons, it's almost like the fluke enslaves the ants and orders them to carry it to their next hosts. Any grazing mammal host with a nice warm liver will do, but in this case, a cow appears. The liver fluke worms can switch the ant's behavior on and off, causing the infected ants to place themselves in easy-to-eat positions at dusk when mammals are feeding. No cows in sight, ants act normal. Cows appear, ants are in essence ordered to take their positions in purple flowers and latch on. The cows ingest the vegetation, the ants, and the fluke larvae inside the ants all in one bite. Once inside the cow, the worms burrow out of the stomach and into the liver where they develop into adults and dine on liver tissue. They lay eggs that are excreted from the liver into the bile duct and then defecated by the cows. They don't kill the cows, but the cows become weak and emaciated, devastating herds. And all because of parasitic mind control. 